Hey guys, Ted here and welcome back to another Adobe Audition tutorial. Let's learn how to record our audio in Adobe Audition. We can do that in either the waveform editor or the multi-track editor. Let's start the waveform editor and let's create a new audio file. All right guys, so this is the waveform editor. It's currently empty right now because we've not recorded any audio. So let's get started by looking for the red button at the bottom of the screen. Once you click it, you can start to record or you can use the shortcut shift space. Hey guys, this is Ted and we're recording on the waveform editor. Okay, so to stop recording, you can press the red button again or just press spacebar. So this is the audio file that we've just recorded. If you want to hear a playback, you can click and drag the toggle anywhere you want to. And you can start by clicking on the play button here or just press spacebar. Hey guys, this is Ted and we're recording on the waveform editor. At any point in time you want to stop, just press the stop button here or you can press spacebar again. Now, whenever you actually see your waveform editor highlighted in white like that, you can't actually record past the extreme right hand side of the white highlighted areas. Let me just show you what I mean by that. Let's put the toggle here and let's try to record. Let's see how far we can go. Hey guys, this is Ted here and welcome. Ah, uh, you see, so we can't get past this line here. So that's the end of how far we can get to in terms of the recording. We can get over this issue by pressing G on our keyboard. And once that's done, let's record. Hey guys, it's Ted here and I'm again recording on the waveform editor. How do I sound? As you can see, we can actually record way further as to what we were limited just now. So whenever you see this problem, just know that you can press G and it can get back out. So that's how you actually record audio in the waveform editor. But what about the multi-track editor? Well, let's click the multi-track button here and let's create a new multi-track file. Okay guys, so right now we're at the multi-track editor. In order to start recording in the multi-track editor, we must arm the track we want to record an audio to. So we can do that by clicking on the R button. And once you do that, you should see your audio signals coming through as you talk into the microphone like I am right now. If you don't actually see this, then take a look at the option right here and make sure that your microphone is selected. If it still doesn't work, then take a look at my Adobe Audition tutorial on how you can connect your microphone into Adobe Audition. Once it's done, you should be able to record audio. And what we need to do is to look for the red button at the bottom of the screen. In order to start recording, you can actually click the red button or you can use the keyboard shortcut shift space. Testing, testing, this is Ted and I'm recording on the multi-track editor. How do I sound? And if you want to listen to your audio file, you can actually bring back the toggle and press the play button or press the space bar. Testing, testing, this is Ted and I'm recording on the multi-track editor. How do I sound? And to stop, you can press spacebar or click on the stop button right there. So that's how you record audio in Adobe Audition. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.